Okay, so the topic of this short video today is going to be the three different types of RNA, mRNA, tRNA, rRNA. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's talk about ribose. Who is will build a protein, and it does that by gathering. Okay, so the topic of this short video today is going to be the three different types of RNA, mRNA, tRNA, rRNA. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's talk about ribose. Okay, so the topic of this short video today is going to be the three different types of RNA, mRNA, tRNA, rRNA. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's talk about ribonucleic acid. When you look at the picture, RNA on the right, you can see it's only a single strand of nucleotides. But the picture of DNA on the left, DNA is a double helix because it's made from two strands of nucleotides. Well, RNA is still a nucleic acid. So it's still made from building blocks called nucleotides. And nucleotides have three parts, one being a phosphate, a second being sugar, a sugar molecule. Now, the picture that just showed up, this is the sugar called ribose. This is the sugar of RNA. On the left, this is the sugar called deoxyribose. This is the sugar of DNA. They're virtually identical. Highlighted in red is the difference. The sugar on the left, deoxyribose, it's been deoxyed. It's missing an oxygen atom. Other than that, they're, they're very similar to one another. And then the, the third part of a nucleotide is the nitrogen base. In RNA, the nitrogen base might be A for adenine. It might be G for guanine. It might be C for cytosine. And it might be U for uracil. These are the four nucleotide nitrogen bases of RNA. And ultimately, we're going to learn about the three kinds of RNA. We're going to learn about mRNA, and then we'll learn about tRNA, and then we'll learn about rRNA. So let's talk about mRNA first. Okay, so the M of mRNA stands for messenger, messenger RNA. And you're going to see it's going to start in the nucleus of a cell, but it will end up at a ribosome. Well, here's a cell right here. And let's talk about eukaryotic cells first. Eukaryotic cells have a nucleus, and in that nucleus is the DNA of the cell. Now, you might know that DNA is the instructions or the, the blueprint to build all the proteins that we need. But the actual maker of the protein is a ribosome. A ribosome is the actual builder of the protein, and that's out in the cytoplasm. So what does mRNA do? It makes a copy of the DNA code. It makes a copy of the DNA sequence. It makes a copy of the DNA instructions. And messenger RNA will deliver the instructions from the nucleus to the ribosome. And once the ribosome has the instructions, what the ribosome will do is will build a protein. And it does that by gathering up a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of amino acids and linking them in a long chain which eventually is a protein. And this is a process called translation. Well, we're, gonna, we're gonna learn more about translation in another video, but that's what a ribosome will eventually do is gather the amino acids and link them into a protein. Okay, and now for transfer RNA. The, uh, the T stands for transfer, transfer RNA. And the location is gonna be in the cytoplasm. Now in my cell drawing here, um, I, I removed the nucleus from the drawing just to get rid of some of the clutter in the drawing. But this is also in eukaryotic cells. And what happens is, we said a moment ago the ribosome is going to gather amino acids to make a protein. But how? How does the ribosome actually obtain the amino acids? Well, transfer RNA will pick them up and carry the amino acids over to the ribosome. So when a ribosome is making a protein, it needs the help of transfer RNA. Transfer RNA is actually picking up the amino acids and carrying them and delivering them to the ribosome. And one by one, one by one, the amino acids are picked up by transfer RNA delivered to the ribosome. And so you see what's happening now is the ribosomes are linking the amino acids together one by one by one in order to make a protein. This is, again, the process called translation. I have another video that discusses translation if you're looking to explore this in more detail. But that's the general job of transfer RNA. 
And then the final kind of RNA is R or ribosomal, R RNA. And so the, uh, the, the R RNA is the main component of a ribosome. A ribosome is a cell part that makes proteins, but ribosomes are made from something. And uh, our RNA will bond with some special proteins in the cell to form a ribosome. So a ribosome is actually made from twisted, uh, twisted together our RNA and proteins. And then a ribosome, when it's, you know, when it's constructed, uh, it will help to build a protein through the process called translation. So there you go, a quick little video on the basics of RNA and some of the types of RNA. And so here's a little practice quiz for you to try. Hope you find this helpful. Thanks for watching. It's incredible, it's intense, sensational. Shakey's original thin crust pizza. This video is